So I think that many people are curious about, is there life off of our planet? Is there life outside of Earth? And the more and more that we look, we look into other galaxies and we can see farther away with telescopes, we see that there is possibly water on other planets, or at least areas where planets can be that could have liquid water. Um, and then right in our neighborhood is Mars, right next to us. And Mars is pretty uh, fascinating because it's somewhere we can go. We can send rovers there, we can send robots there, and hopefully someday we will send humans there to actually do the exploration. Um, not only to look for life, but also to possibly look and see if, if Mars could be lived upon with the right resources. That it's, it's definitely vital that the other countries are involved. I think it's an international effort. Um, any sort of space research, any Mars research is an international effort. I mean, from the point where we're, we're choosing where to go on Mars, that's a whole different process, and that's an international process where you have several meetings in succession over a period of maybe two years of international scientists trying to decide where to go on Mars, which part of Mars offers the most interesting science. And then in terms of the instruments, for example, on the Curiosity Road, we have 10 instruments, three of which come from other countries. One is from Canada, one is from Spain, and one is from Russia. So it's extremely important um, international collaboration. And then within um, my own team, we have about a third or a fourth of our team is from France. Um, our instrument is actually three different instruments put together, and one of those sub-instruments is contributed by the French team. So it's really vital that we have these international partners. And moving forward, as we look into human exploration of space, it's going to be even more important um, that we have international partnerships.